Okay guys, I've got the uh, Leupold 2-7x28mm uh, to 7 by 28 millimeter rimfire scope mounted on this new uh, CZ452 trainer and it's time to take it to a proper outdoor range and see what it can really do. I took it to a 50 foot indoor range a few days ago and I, and I did a little video on that. Uh, the rifle just with the open sights worked like a champ, extremely accurate, um, but uh, I, I really want to kind of stretch its legs a little bit and uh, and see what it can really do. So here's what the scope looks like with those BKL 257 mounts. Now I realize the uh, barrel is kind of a little bit high off the barrel. I'm sorry, the scope is a little bit high, but I did that on purpose. These are uh, 0.6 inches higher than the standard uh, height scope uh, mounting rings. And I did that because well, as I mentioned in the other video, this rifle's known for having a pretty nice iron sight system, and I wanted to still be able to use it. Let me just show you that it's it's unloaded. Let's go ahead and close the bolt so I can give you a better view. Uh, just a sec. There we go. Put the safety on. Okay. So, yeah, if you get these kind of high offset mounting rings well, it's kind of hard to see but you can still there we go you can still kind of use your um, iron sights as a backup and it gives you that dual functionality of having uh, that nice reticle right there and still having the option of using your iron sights if and when you want to so yeah those are from BKL and um, looks like a pretty nice setup Let's go ahead and take it to the range and see what uh, you know. See what we can get. See what kind of groupings we can get. I'm going to shoot it at 50 yards. I'm going to use some kind of cheap, the regular cheap bulk ammunition to sight it in, or get it as close as possible. And then uh, this time I made sure to take some higher quality ammo. I've got that Wolf Match Grade, made in Germany, 22 LR, uh, kind of like target grade ammunition. And just for kicks. I'm going to take a, a few of these CCI Stingers, 32 grain, uh, basically this is kind of like CCI's higher end um, 22 hunting ammo. And it's pretty fast, 1640 feet per second. I've got a 24.8 inch barrel, 24.8 inch barrel here, so it should get pretty close to the um, advertised velocity. Usually when you go supersonic with a, a bullet this small, uh, from my understanding, it kind of it, it may adversely affect the accuracy. So I actually uh, expect this subsonic round to um, group a little bit more tightly than this high-velocity hunting ammo. But in case uh, you know, for some of you guys that shoot um, rabbits and and other pests, and you want to do pest control with a, a rifle like this or something similar to it, you know, this might be helpful for you. So let's go ahead and head out to the range. We'll do 50 yards scoped and uh, open sights and I'll do the same at 100 yards scoped and no scope and then I'll, I'll come back home and uh, share the results with you okay so yeah I can't wait to take this thing out see you in a few hours hey everybody I'm back from the range I, I took the uh, CZ452 trainer out to the uh, outdoor range yesterday put um, several rounds of 22 long rifle through it three different kinds and uh, let's go ahead and uh, review the results um, now just one caveat unfortunately the Santa Ana winds are starting to kick up and it was uh, uh, quite windy it was at least a 20 mile an hour wind yesterday so please keep that in mind um, it wasn't the the best conditions for for testing ammo especially something as light as 22 long rifle but uh, even with the, the windy, unfavorable conditions, this uh, CZ-452 continued to impress me and uh, it performed really well, especially even in the hands of a, a novice shooter like me. And uh, there's that Leupold 2-7x28 rimfire scope, performed flawlessly. Um, even though the mounting rings are, are the, uh, the higher offset variety, it didn't take me very uh, many shots to get it uh, sighted in and, and it maintained its zero really well. But uh, yeah, so anyways, it was kind of a 
crappy uh, day for testing 22s, but I don't get to go out there that often, so I, I had to do it. All right, let's start with the cheap bulk ammunition. And here I was, you know, just trying to get on paper. Finally, started to get it sighted in, and this little group, uh, that that's with your uh, basic cheap 22 bulk ammunition. Um, not too bad, and if you can believe it, that little baby right there was also shot with uh, with the cheap stuff as well. That's um, under an inch for sure. What is that? 0 0.6, 0 0.65 inches. So I was I was quite impressed with that. Um, let's go over here and get to the uh, higher quality match match grade 22 ammunition from Wolf. This was at 50 yards with the scope and another nice small group. We've got a small group here that's I would say that's maybe I don't know four tenths of an inch under half an inch and that larger group is um, about six or seven tenths of an inch as well so that wolf ammunition definitely made a difference. The only thing I didn't like was that it's got some kind of slick coating on it uh, which kind of gets all over your fingers when you're loading the magazines but perhaps it helps with feeding and it and it does do something for the accuracy because this ammunition was quite accurate. Here, let me go over here. This was with the uh, open sights that I was using underneath the uh, scope. Not too bad. Um, it was from a rest, um, but that was with, you know, just with the open sights. And here we got two nice uh, small groups from the um, scope using the Leupold scope. A couple of flyers here and there, but they were still pretty close to the main groupings. And uh, again, I was I was pretty impressed. And that's again, that's from 50 yards. Now let's go over to our Stinger 22 long rifle uh, hunting ammo from CCI. This does exceed the uh, the speed of sound, 1640 feet per second, for a 32 grain bullet, and it shot pretty well. As, uh, also, a couple of there's your main group right there, another smaller one here, and uh, three flyers. It wasn't quite as accurate as uh, the target grade ammunition um, because as we discussed earlier, small bullets like this, um, once they cross the speed of sound, uh, there's some turbulence and and the bullet can start to, uh, the accuracy can start to diminish. So, but, but for hunting needs, I mean, this is pretty much all you need. You can get an accurate clean kill on, on, uh, pest animals or small game and uh, shouldn't be a problem it's pretty accurate as well so there you have it at 50 yards in unfavorable conditions I will take this uh, rifle and probably that wolf ammunition out again hopefully next time the uh, the winds won't be so bad and I'll be able to get even even smaller groupings if I do I'll, I'll be sure to share that with you so so far so good on this CZ452 trainer. I'm glad I bought it. If you're considering something, you know, like I said, a little bit a little bit more accurate, a little bit higher end than just the base model Ruger 1022 and you don't mind a bolt action, this is something that you should definitely put on your short list. Uh, I really like it. Not to say that a Ruger 10, 1022 can't shoot like this, but from what I've read, from my understanding, you probably need to do a few modifications to it to get um, the accuracy up to the next level. All right, so there you have it, guys. Sorry about the um, unfavorable conditions. Hopefully next time it'll be better. But uh, if you have any questions, comments, please go ahead and feel free to type them in.